Long you are seeing uh, the protests heat up, and right now we've seen protesters breaking the glass there. This is the Legislative Council building, of course, their anger toward the government over that extradition bill, which has been sidelined, but they say they won't stop protesting until that bill is dead. Police had warned them to be lawful, but as you can see here now, it appears things are getting much more heated and out of hand. And the protest hasn't officially gotten underway. Joining us now there uh, on the scene is Andrew Stevens. He's been monitoring how this has been developing, and uh, this is not a hopeful sign here, Andrew. No, that's right, Natalie. We, we, we haven't seen, we haven't had eyes on of this attempt to storm the, the Hong Kong Parliament building. It's just uh, diagonally opposite to, to where our live position is at the moment. But we, we have seen pictures of broken windows at the LegCo building and of protesters trying to push in. We've also seen some vision of police moving in as well. But at this stage, uh, I can't give you any further updates other than to say that this is happening right now, that the uh, protesters have been trying to storm this building. Now, the police said that the protesters back on June, June 12th, when we had that major uh, incident involving the police and the protesters, that was also kicked off by, led by uh, these protesters trying to storm the Legislative Council building. So uh, it would be unlikely if the police do not mount a, a, a severe uh, move here to, to get them away from this building. Uh, so that's where we are with that at the moment. But we've already ha seen violence this morning. We saw the police using pepper spray and batons to clear protesters away from, uh, from encroaching on the area where the official ceremonies for the handover, the commemoration of the handover, were taking place. Police cleared uh, a few hundred metres of road of protesters, forced them back to where we are now, and then disappeared. So they have been regrouping since then. And as you say, Natalie, at this stage, the actual official protests haven't started. And these official protests are different animals to what we're seeing now. They have been through their history, and they, there is a regular protest now every July the 1st, they have been peaceful protests. And I'd like to now bring in the convener of that of the protest march, which is due to kick off fairly soon, Ms Bonnie Lung. Bonnie is the convener of the uh, Civil Human Rights Watch here in Hong Kong. You've organised this march for today, Bonnie. Uh, first of all, I just want to ask you, how, given that we've already had one million people out, two million people out in another march, today, what are your expectations? Well, I really hope that uh, Hong Kong people, uh, all the two million people and even more would come out to support this campaign, to would take out to the streets again. Because uh, actually after the two million people demonstration, uh, the government actually, uh, Carrie Lam actually had done nothing, uh, uh, real change. And also uh, our uh, request on independent inquiry uh, still not happening. And uh, it, without this independent inquiry, uh, trust cannot be We're talking about the independent inquiry into, the, yes. into what people say is an excessive use of police force yes. on, on June the 12th. Well, sp speaking of excessive force, we're, we're, we're getting these pictures right now of just behind where we're standing, the building of protesters trying to trying to break into this parliament building. Uh, does it worry you that uh, your much bigger protests could also end up in violent confrontations? Well, I really hope not, uh, because as we have shown uh, uh, to the world for so many years that our uh, July 1st protest can be totally peaceful if the police behave themselves. And I believe uh, today it will be exactly the same. And I would uh, urge all the protesters, uh, we do not uh, uh, do it violently. We must do it uh, peacefully. Otherwise, we would become uh, uh, more and more like the government. And, and it does not worth it. And it does not help. And uh, no sacrifice of such is needed. Uh, all we need is to uh, protest peacefully and let the Hong Kong government, let Beijing and let the world know our demand. We should not give them any excuses to use violence against us.